What's going on guys? We're going to teach you how to make the, the best possible macros with the Razer software named Razer Synapse. Now, disclaimer, before this, um, before you start this video, we need, you only need a Razer keyboard or Razer mouse. If you don't have that, then you are technically screwed. You're going to have to find some different software from a different video because I can't, I don't, I don't know which one is, it's only Razer Synapse for me. That's what I usually prefer, but let's get straight into the video synapse 3 so this is the website to get razor synapse where you can customize your own keyboard and set up macros it's right here it says advanced macro capabilities bring powerful macros to your favorite games with razor synapse 3 so this is the preview of how to set up the macro i'm going to be showing you so what you're going to do is just press download and it'll pop up down here and then once you load it up it'll come up with the razor logo and then once the Razer logo comes up, you press Razer Synapse, Chroma Connect, or whatever, if you have a RGB on your keyboard. And if you want to download Razer Cores X, which if you have a terrible PC, it can help you boost FPS in games. So I could recommend for that too. But pretty much already have those two installed. So once you got to press install. And once it's installed, it will show up. It will show up to right here, Razer Central. And then... So I already downloaded it, so we just go here. Then once that, once Razor, once you see Razor Central, Central in your taskbar, you go to Razor Synapse right here. Then you go right here and right here. Okay, so this is this is where the um, this is how you set up the macro. So you go to macro right here. Oh yeah, also if you don't have a macro, you can go to you can go to modules. You can go to modules and then. It says available modules. It'll say a macro maybe, and you can you press on the macro and you press install, and it requires you to have a it requires you to reset the mac the software, and then it'll show up. So now what you're gonna do you're gonna press the plus sign, and then you'll you'll get a macro um on your thing. So what we're gonna do now you're gonna, you're gonna press insert. You're gonna press insert. Click it. Go here. Now. You can pick any edit edit bind right here. This is for the keystroke on your keyboard. So what you're gonna you, you have to press your edit bind. You have to find it. You gotta put it in your edit bind and keystroke, and then put the delay to 0.02 because that's that's where I found the sweet spot. So 0.02, and then now once you're done with that, since I have my edit bind on E, I put it on E. So it's it's already included in the other one. So now you gotta press on um, here, you go to mask button, and right here. And then you do the same thing, 0.02, and then 0.02, then you press left click, and then done, you're, you're, you're technically done. And now we're gonna hop into Fortnite, and I'm gonna be showing you. All right, I have loaded in, but I just forgot to tell you one thing. So if you want, so if you want to bind it to someone, you can go here, keyboard, then you go to macro. And then you can put it'll already assign you to macro and then you press play while assign key is pressed so i recommend i i usually use it on um my mouse i have mouse buttons on my razor mouse and i press it on press play while assign key is pressed so you can put on any key so like this key or this key or this key or any 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 key around here and you just go to macro and then you just put it on the last one it's it's simple it's very simple so right now we're gonna be in fortnite so all right so i, ha I had to um so my thing was glitched because i had it on display capture now put on game capture but so basically the the assign button that you've put that you've selected on your um keyboard or mouse you you technically just hold it because it's a sign key when it's pressed so technically you just hold it um i think i just forgot to do it wait there you go Alright, so now this is how the macro should work. So once you hold down your button, it will do this. Non stop, non stop, non stop. So basically, just do this, do this, so all the new thing. And then just rebuild. And then once you pull it off, you just do this, hold your button. And then you turn it on again. I don't use the macro. Well, I don't really macro. I don't do it. But if you want to use macros, you can. But 
Honestly, I just don't think it's good. It's unavailable to get a good band. So, we just want to do this for fun with friends and then it's fine. But I usually don't recommend doing it. Just, just, just get good and just do it by your own skill. Just, just get good. Look. Just do it by your own skill. Not even macroing. So, like. Good. If you have this, uh, this, uh, this good editing, then you're, you're, you're fine. If you don't need to use my But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And maybe, maybe just comment and see if it worked or not for y'all. So I'll see you in another video. Oh, peace.